I could do that thing that like they do on there where they like close it. Yeah, like Adam said, it's always rush hour on 494, no matter what the time of day is, huh, buddy? I do not know what it is about between like 100 and 35, but it's always a cluster. Every day. It's like you get here and people just forget how to drive. But uh, anyways, Adam and I are headed to the St. Paul Ice Show. Biggest ice show in the world. Biggest ice show in the world. Um, we'll be there for Vexilar. Where's the logo? There it is. Um, we also have matching vests on. We'll be down there slinging Vexilars and talking about fishing for the whole weekend. So uh, we'll keep in touch and keep you updated with all sorts of tips and tactics from people across the ice belt. So. Uh, we're in business folks, uh, Rello and I have just checked into the hotel, we are heading up to the St. Paul show, I'm a little out of our element right now, because yeah. we're not fishing. A long way from Bemidji right now, all I hear is traffic and horns and sirens and whatever else. Yeah, it ain't quite right, but this is going to be a fun few days. We made it. We did. We're in. And now we're trying to go find the Vexlar booth. <laughs> Made it all the way across the showroom floor. And we are almost to the Vexlar booth. Well, we are to the Vexlar booth. Tommy Z's here. Everybody's here. Corey's here. Tommy Z's here. Dom's here. And even Beck told. It's a good day. All right, we're at the St. Paul Ice Show. Uh, Tommy Z is behind the camera <laughs> for once. It's, it's a unique thing happening. He's moving everywhere. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do, but we're going to go with it. St. Paul Ice Show is always a good time. New product everywhere. We just finished eating. Feeling like a million bucks? Not really. Knees feel like an 85 year old. Cast power in. It's time to uh, go visit some booths, show you guys some of uh, the cool stuff at St. Paul Ice Show. We gotta find some of it first. We've been stuck in our retail booths all day. In our little cave selling Vexlars. Say we're down here at the two seven. Bleh, bleh, bleh. What am I doing? Mike is just not getting it done right now. A little, yeah, give me a, there we go. Need a little background, warm to, him up. You might actually put me to sleep put, that put way. Put your face a little bit. Yeah. Here. Get me all smiley. At the St. Paul Ice Fishing Winter Sports Show 2017, we're in the Clam Outdoors booth. One hot item this year that we've been talking about over and over and over again is the new Ascent suit from Clam Outdoors. It gives you the float properties. So it's a float suit. If anyone's seen the show The Christmas Story since it's December, you've seen that little kid that says, Mom, I can't put my arms down. Mom, I can't put my arms down. Mom, I can't put my arms down. Well, in this suit, you have the mobility. Soby is in the house. What's up? What's my pal, Matt Waldron? He just showed up. He smells nice. He's got a pretty I mouth, and I'm excited to nice. see him. Little plug for John. It's fresh. Pick it up online. Squad.com. I don't know where they sell it, but they sell it somewhere. <laughs> oh yeah, they're the TYO boys. I have no idea what I'm doing. All right, day one at the show just closed. Um, we got to get all our stuff packed up and go check into the hotel now. A lot of stuff happens real fast. We're going to be back here in 12 hours. Wait, Katy Perry's here tonight? Wait, Katy Perry's here tonight? Wait, Katy Perry's here tonight? Yeah, yeah. Who was that by? It was on like now 7. <laughs> now all seven. Now, now we feel old after saying that. What you, called what, you what you doing? Rock. Nothing. Chilling at the holiday. Where you at? Yeah, but we're in the Hampton and kind of same. Thing. What we gonna do? All right, guys. It is day two. I am sick. That happened really fast. He's incredibly sick, and I'm just ready to go. Saturday at the show. It's about eleven o'clock. Uh, the place is going to be packed like a ACDC concert, so time to have some fun. 
It is packed. 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 Can't even talk. Here's a new clam boat. Yeah, yeah that thing doesn't suck. Alright guys, I am still sick, so you can probably barely hear me right now or my voice sounds terrible. Uh, but today was super, super, super busy. It's about 6 o'clock now. The show's really died down because uh, the wild game's starting. But uh, we're going to go hang out with the boys for a little bit. Houston, do you have any, well, that's anything to enlighten the fans with? Um, my love and awesome hairlocks and these goofs playing the dollar trick. Drop the dollar. What are we doing, boys? 20. We're putting a 20 on there. <gasps> oh. You wrecked the dollar. You tore That's it down. If you do that to my 20, you owe me a 20. <laughs> <laughs> That's not my dollar. Hey, mine. I wasn't paying attention. I was caught off guard. It wasn't my A game. It's more like D team. That was awesome. Alright guys, back in the camera room. Wrapped up day numero dos at the St. Paul Ice Show. Adam's still feeling down the weather a little bit, but uh, powered through it. So We're going to go get a bite to eat and hang out with the guys, so we will uh, talk to you tomorrow. Last day of the show. I am still sick. I don't even know if this audio works with the way I talk now. But uh, walk it in 9 a.m. till 4. One more day. How's it going? How you doing? Good. Hey. <laughs> Internet. <laughs> I know you're still filming. It. <laughs> this is my snowmobile. No, it's not. Mine's green. It's all rusty. Looks like it. Isn't yours loud? Very much louder. Yeah. I'll scare the fish off the the fish actually run up into the springs and the cricks and all that stuff when they hear me come on the lake. That's why I don't catch anything ever. That's my excuse for it. It's just too loud. It scares them the rumbling. It pushes that lateral line is something you wouldn't believe. Just moseying around the show with Waldo. Looking for some cool stuff. We're gonna go see what our boys at iFish Pro are doing. How's it going, Team Yukon? Yeah. You know, it's Sunday here at the St. Paul Ice Show. The Vikings just won 14 to 9. School. Against the Atlanta Falcons. And you know what that means? You got to pick up an iFish Pro tip up. Yeah. <laughs> it's the deal. Just making us work, always. Now we're heading to JT and DH booth. So that one there. DH got a shop dog. I did get a shop dog. Yeah, that's Knuckles Malone. He's a gangster. Yeah, he's hiding out with his humans. Yeah. Big boy noodle. Yeah. This is the big boy noodle from DEH. Goes up to 48 inches. This is 38. It's perfect right up, right up the side of the boat, jigging. Ice fishing. Big red lake bike. Big walleyes. Brown trout in the harbor. Man, this thing's got it all. I mean, it's got it all, dude. Solid noodle blank can't do that. All right, we showed up. Whoa, my hand is definitely in that shot. Uh, we showed off the big boy noodle from DH. Tried to hop over to JT to show the walleye snare, but they sold out. So uh, next best one, gold digger. 
Joe's going to talk about it a little bit. So this is our uh, our gold digger. So it's going to be a medium light. Okay, it's a carbon fiber blank, so super sensitive blank. Okay, we make this in a 30 and a 34 inch. It's our new handle for this year. We call this the Sure Grip. Really nice feeling handle. Uh, it's a urethane material, so it's not going to it's not going to get brittle or stiff in extremely cold temperatures. So the other benefit of this is it's really durable. So really lightweight, um, medium medium light, uh, just a really popular walleye rod for us. So uh, we even did a, uh, a limited edition. So uh, gold on the gold digger. So pretty fitting. Uh, that was a really really hot item. Um, we had people race right in here on Friday, and this is the only one that we have left. It's crazy. What's up, folks? Try not to die. Day three of the ice show. <laughs> you want to know what defeat looks like? I volunteer as tribute. Just want to talk to you about some of the fishing line we've been using for the last three weeks when we've been doing our videos. Uh, we've been using the new clam frost line made by Sunline. Uh, I've been using the new mono for a lot of my panfish setups. Uh, for walleye setups, we are using braid fluoro normally, but this stuff has been great. They got braid fluoro, mono, and then uh, some meter line as well. You definitely want to come check it out. Highly recommend you stock up on it this ice season. Hey guys, uh, Chris Grandroot. We're in front of uh, the Clam X300. So this is our biggest flip over house. It was a house that I used last year uh, in a test model. But what you're gonna notice is it's got the side door, it also has a back door, it has a ton of fishable area. So it's a house that's super, super warm. So 1800 denier fabric, um, it's gonna be very warm, but definitely something you could use for a bigger group here. So this is the new FLX 20. The FLX 20 is also a brushless unit, which gives you 20 steps of interference rejection. It also gives you a lot crisper and brighter lights as well. But one of the cool new features on the FLX 20 is we have three color selecting palettes what that is going to do for you is help you eliminate targets. So if you're fishing in like a weed bed or a really thick school of crappies and you don't want to see those smaller marks like weeds or smaller fish, you can eliminate those by dropping down from three colors to two colors down to one color. So now you're just going to see those fish in the weed bed or just your bigger fish in the school as well too. So you also have a six foot zoom, a 12 foot zoom, a low power, and a low power six foot zoom. How's it going everybody? This is Mike Rates here with Clam Outdoors and Mackie Plastics. Say we're at the 2017 St. Paul Ice Show. This is the big kickoff before it all begins. You know, plastics have been around for quite a while. I've been using them myself for about the past six years. And uh, one bait that I want to talk to you about, or my favorite baits that I like to use the most, especially out of the Mackie lineup, is the Polly and then the Maddie. And the reason I like these two baits is I'm a very big bluegill, very big bluegill fisherman. I, I love fishing for them. They're hard to catch, but they're fun. So I just want to go over a couple things. That straight tail, that's a killer when it comes to bluegill fishing. My favorite color is actually in the red with this. And then if I want to go to something with a little more action and two tails to get the job done, even for crappie fishing as well, I'm going to use that Maddie. And what I'm actually going to do with this Maddie is I'm going to cut off part of the body. I'm going to use those two tails at times, but sometimes I'll take just the body itself and I'll use that as well. Um, the one thing I want to talk and I stress most about this is these are hand poured plastics. Um, there's a big difference when you look at injection mold and hand poured. Injection mold is going to be a lot stiffer, it's going to be a lot stronger plastic, but you're going to have to work harder to make that bait move more. With these hand poured plastics, just your natural twitch that you have in your body is going to make these baits move and help you catch more fish. So we're looking around the show, we're over at the Panfish Plastics booth. Uh, we use a lot of Mackies, but if we're not using Mackies, we're probably using Panfish Plastics. They make some sweet chigger fries and some other stuff. I'm going to chat with Dax about them for a little bit. Hey, Dax here, down at the St. Paul Ice Show the last day. Uh, we're at the Panfish Plastics booth. Actually, the location for Panfish Plastics is either online or in Clayton, Wisconsin. Where it originated the chigger fry, just a little mayfly imitator. Does really well on panfish, perch, and crappies in northwest Wisconsin, and we've traveled as far as North Dakota, and even in, even into Upper Minnesota. It's just a really good quality bait. The tail works very well. If you're not using plastics, it's certainly a good idea to give them a try. Give them a really, really good try. Um, if you're a live bait guy, it never hurts to try new things because the, the plastics industry in general makes a very good product. Very easy to use. Most of the plastics are very durable. 
They're going to last more than one or two fish. You can still keep your gloves on fish when it's cold outside. So. This is why this is why I'm here for Vexlar. Hey, don't ruin the knives. Oh, <laughs> this hurts a lot worse. <laughs> Great teamwork here at Vexlar. All right, guys, that is a wrap for the 2017 St. Paul show. Uh, we will be on the ice soon. There's a lot of stuff in the works. Not really sure where we'll be or what we'll be fishing for yet. But uh, yeah, there's a cold blast coming to Minnesota. We're gonna have a lot of ice. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Until then, thanks for watching. And uh, Waldo, you got anything to say? I'm happy it's over. Peace out, boys.